Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. Today we'll show you guys how to remove and replace alternator on Land Rover Discovery. We're talking about Discovery 2. So uh, this specifically is 99 model, but it should cover the late models until 2003, 4, I think with no problem. This is the alternator right here guys, stay with us, we just removed the hood because we will be doing engine replacement so we will have quite a few videos on that vehicle I think. Check out our playlist, please subscribe and let's grow the channel together. So first we will need to remove the serpentine belt. In order to do that guys, we will need a 15mm wrench, okay, or a socket with a, uh, uh, with a ratchet. Okay, let me turn the light on so you can see better. You need to get it on the tensioner pulley there. And careful not to break the holes, we're going to go clockwise. And you can see the belt will come loose. Okay, so we can pull it off. Okay, like that. And we'll just leave it there. So you can see it's off the alternator. Right now, you can just pull it out if you need to. And the AC compressor here on top. Next. With a 13mm we need to unloosen the battery cables and we need to disconnect the battery because uh, removing the alternator you'll be messing with a big positive cable and you don't want to burn anything so just make sure the battery is completely unhooked. Alright guys, in order to remove the alternator we're going to use a 13mm socket and let me show you where exactly the bolt is there now. It's so inconvenient to trying to get some line. Okay, you can see, once we remove the alternator, we'll show you exactly where all the bolts are and what it looks like. That way we'll have more room to demonstrate. Okay, we can see the bolt a little bit better from here now. Ok, once you get them loose, they usually go by hand. And check out our website guys, MechanicLifestyle.com We will have more info there, more videos. And we will have specific instructions and tools that have been used in the future as well. We add information daily. And now we need to remove this one right here on top. You can see the second bolt now again with the same 13 millimeter socket you can see how long the bolt is this is the one on the bottom it's normal for it to get stuck a little bit so you can help it with the ratchet again and if you need a specific video for that Land Rover Discovery let us know uh, we will if we have it, we will make the video for you. Both of the bolts are exactly identical as you can see, just like that. We will get an extension and right here we are going to pry it up. Just be careful here now, okay, not to hit the holes. The wires, we are going to disconnect them after that. And actually towards the back, one of the wires will need to come out there because it's a short wire. Some models have a long wire there. so we. Recommend take it off before you remove the alternator or you might break the wire. Okay guys, and the wire came out, you can see it's out of there now. And we can pick up the alternator. You have to come in an angle because the hose is here and you don't want to drain the whole coolant system just to remove that hose. It's not as convenient, but at least it's on top and it's doable. Okay, alternator is right here. Now we will need to go ahead and disconnect the, uh, the wire, that's the charging wire here with a 13 millimeter. So we're going to use the 13 with a little impact. 
Okay, this is the wire, guys. And alternator is out of the way. Make sure the battery again is disconnected because if that wire touches something, you might catch the vehicle on fire. And this is it. You install it, guys, in reverse order with two kilo part. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and see you next time.